Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight I went through the drive through at KFC and holy smokers, they have a brand new item. This is the KFC fried chicken and donuts sandwich. It's a fried chicken breast between two full-size glazed donuts served hot. Okay, so here's the box. It says, think of this as a tiny treasure chest filled with chicken treasures. And we've also got the hand wipe here. They gave in the bag. And I'll go ahead and try to open this up here. It's a very greasy box as you might expect. I don't know if this is a premium wrapper or just simply a cover. There we go. As you can see quite a bit of glaze is going down the center and around the bottom. And we have the donut on the top. Let's zoom in for a close up here on the donuts. And you can see in the bottom you have the glaze is pouring down into the bottom of the box. The, they say it's served hot and that of course causes the glaze to melt off. But it's a pretty tall sandwich as far as fast food sandwiches go. So much glaze all around here. The aroma is somewhat like Krispy Kreme but a little more of a fried chicken coating aroma with it. And it seems like KFC is going for the Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday theme because if you're from Germany you would eat Berliners from Austria you would eat Kropfen and in Poland you would eat Punchki which I've reviewed on this channel before. I don't really think of Kentucky being a big place for Mardi Gras uh, Catholics but especially in the past but now uh, I think that's where they're sort of fitting this idea and bringing this out today the day before Mardi Gras let's go ahead and see how it tastes Well, on the first bite, I have to say that although the donuts are supposed to be the star of the show here, look how thick that chicken is. Very juicy, very tender, and it's got to be at least as thick, if not more, than the Popeye's chicken sandwich. The donuts, they're not quite as uh, airy as Krispy Kreme, but they certainly have the... Uh, the glaze flavoring. Well, I have to say, I think they must have upgraded their chicken sandwich from the time. You remember when I reviewed the Cheetos chicken sandwich? This is like five times better than that. I know this is the post Popeye's chicken sandwich mania era, so I think this bodes well for chicken sandwiches to come. It's kind of getting covered out in this uh, glaze and donut novelty this time around, but I'm interested to see what they will do with this chicken sandwich next.
Bob, you know I've been a movie actor for many years. In fact, I studied under Patrick Swayze himself at the Swayze Institute in Television City. I've also been a white rapper, but now I'm becoming a triple threat, making my Broadway debut. Can you imagine it? Somebody who grew up in the South Bronx. I smell grease paint. I smell grease paint. You've heard of the one man Star Wars, the one man Lord of the Rings, and the one man Harry Potter. But you've never before seen, until now, the one man Castle Wolfenstein. Starting with a week of rehearsal previews tonight. Right here at the historic Speedway Theater on Main Street in beautiful Sylvania, Ohio. And right here, right now, right now. the Robert Dyer Channel, a live broadcast from the Speedway Theater. And the curtain is going up momentarily. Arctone. Arctone. My name is there's the dog food. Eat it. Eat it. Thank you. Thank you. And for our UK viewers, I'm sorry, but you'll have to settle for... Hugh Jackman playing the role in London. Bob, I can see it now. The front page of the Youngstown Vindicator, Tarnation Bob, sweeps Tony Awards. Well, I'm certainly very much in favor of this variation on chicken and waffles. I think most of us would like to have a big glazed donut rather than a waffle but then with this you get two donuts and then you get this wonderful chicken breast inside here I really have to hand it to them for upgrading the chicken uh, maybe they can try chicken and pancakes next but you're still getting the same basic idea this is just more rich now the price is $5.99. I'd have to say for that huge thick piece of chicken and getting the two fat donuts, I'm willing to give them a pass on that fairly hefty price, especially in these days of $8 burgers. I'm never willing to give the Montgomery County Council a pass for greedily taking 36 cents in tax for themselves. Ridiculous as usual. But I think uh, Harvey Weinstein is uh, going to save them a seat at Rikers Island. So right now I would recommend definitely going to KFC. I think this is a must try and must buy. Two fried donuts, fried chicken. Get the defibrillator out and have it standing by. But also try to avoid the temptation of going to get this every day of the week. And I'm going to say that I'm going to give this five stars, but also another very rare John Candy Award for a fast food item, particularly a fast food sandwich. I think this is only the third time I've given one out to a fast food restaurant. And if anything's going to get a John Candy Award, my God. This is just screaming John Candy. Two glazed donuts, fried chicken in the middle, greasy, fried, fat. It's all there, extremely decadent, and I highly recommend it. Hope you like this video, and my God, there's no hand wipe that's going to clean this up. I feel bad for the people that had to review this in the car. I don't know how you would ever get this glaze off your fingers in the car, but share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. A very glazed goodbye.